Okay, so now we are going to look at uh, some questions based on operations on signals, time scaling, time shifting, time reversal. So uh, here is a question, they have given you a continuous time signal, firstly we are going to look at a question on continuous time signal, then next we are going to look at a similar model of question for discrete time signal also. So they have given us a continuous time signal xt which is represented as this as follows and they are asking you to perform these operations on this signal. So we are going to look at them one by one, look at the first option xt minus 2 is a time shifting operation what happens is this signal is going to be shifted towards right by 2 units this is time shifting time shifting so what happens is every point on this time axis is going to be every instance on this point uh, time axis is going to be shifted right by 2 units whatever value of the signal was occurring at t is equal to 0 previously is now going to occur at t is equal to 2 Consequently, the value occurring at t is equal to 4 is now going to occur at t is equal to 6. The whole signal is going to be shifted towards the right by 2 units. So this is how the signal is going to look. Firstly, the signal was occurring between uh, t is equal to 0 to 4. Now the signal is going to occur between t is equal to 2 to 6. So uh, this is how the signal is going to look. Value is not going to change. So this is how x of t minus 2 is going to look like, right? We have just performed time shifting operation. Since there is a minus sign in between, this is going to be a right shift, okay? We have already discussed this in lecture also. Still you can see if you just put the value of t is equal to 2, then you are getting x0 which means that at t is equal to 2 second we should get the value of this signal at 0. That is why we have shifted towards right, fine? Uh, now look at the next part x2t this is time scaling time scaling or to be precise time compression time compression so uh, what happens is each point in on this time scale is going to be divided by 2 okay this this point of 0 is going to remain 0 but this point of 1, this point of t is equal to 1 is going to become t is equal to half, t is equal to 4 is going to become t is equal to 2. The signal is going to be compressed in time domain, okay. The signal which was uh, previously bounded between 0 and 4 is now going to lie between 0 and 2 only because each point on this time axis got divided by 2, got compressed. So the signal is going to look something like this. Right, so this is how this time compressed signal is going to look like. Now look at the third part. This is just opposite of this one, okay. This is time expansion, time expansion. What happens in this is each point on this time axis is going to be multiplied by 2, okay. Every point which was previously lying like 0 is going to remain 0, but this 1, the value which was previously at 1 is now going to be the value at x is, at t is equal to 2. Value at t is equal to 2 is going to become value at t is equal to 4. Every point on this time axis is going to expand, okay. We are just expanding this time axis. So the signal which was previously lying between 0 and 4 is now going to lie between 0 and 8 right so this is how this signal is going to look like okay this is how this time expanded signal is going to look like now this is simple this is just time reversal what happens in time reversal is value of signal at t is equal to 1 is going to become the value of signal at t is equal to minus 1, okay. We are just reversing is what happens is this uh, the signal is going to have its mirror image across this y axis, okay. Just going to have the mirror image of the signal across y axis. Value of the signal at positive time instance is now going to become value of the signal at negative time instance. So we are just going to flip the signal, just flipping the signal. So this is how time reversed signal is going to look like, okay.